What's going on, YouTube? This is iTalk. It's not Al anymore. It's Duck. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today, we're going to be talking about Fall Guys. This is the brand new hyped up game from the people over at Devolver Digital. Now, this game is a... 60 man battle royale game essentially where it's a bunch of party games and you need to be the last person to survive through all of it and you win the game it's pretty self-explanatory there's a bunch of different party games for you to play it's very reminiscent of the show wipeout as well as mini games from like mario party it's very interesting it's also free to play over on the ps4 if you have ps plus it is free all this august and if you play on pc it is available on Steam for $20, and I don't believe it's on any other platforms just yet, but I'm sure it will get out there because this game is everywhere right now. This is one of the biggest launches of a game ever. It's Devolver's biggest launch ever, which is huge. It's really cool to see. I'm very happy for the developers for this game because there's so much wholesomeness with this game. It's just... It's just a bunch of beans running around and jumping over each other and grabbing onto one another. It's a really fun time. I don't think this game is flawless by any stretch. There is a lot of things that they could do, but the thing is, is that they didn't expect this game to be as big as it is. They didn't expect the game to garner this much attention. So a lot of the things that we kind of wish we would have in this game aren't even really present because they weren't expecting this game to reach that many people. And here we're having connection issues because there's so many people trying to play the game right now. And that's a good thing for them. I'm actually very proud of them and I'm happy that they actually got this game launched when they did. It's a really fun time to play. I would recommend this game. If you have a PC, I would recommend this on Steam if you like what you see in the gameplay here. And if you're on PS4, there's no reason why you shouldn't download this if you have PS Plus. And again, it should be available on every console eventually. There's no way that it can only be on these two platforms. This game is just too huge for that. So the reason why we're talking about Fall Guys today is that this reminds me a lot of when Fortnite became popular. And the community around Fall Guys makes me so envious and I'm so jealous that the community for Fall Guys is so chill and so understanding of when like the servers are down and when there's like speed hackers and everything like that like people are actually super kind to the developers and the social media of fall guys and i miss that i miss when the fortnite community wasn't about impression farming and making up very negative tweets at the developers i wish we weren't like that i kind of had a look at myself with the community today and I'm like, man, the Fortnite community online is not great. Compared to Fall Guys's, it's not even close. Fall Guys have such a nice community, and I envy them. I really do. And I'm glad I am enjoying the game and I'm playing the game a little bit. I haven't gotten a win yet, by the way. And as I said, it, the game is not flawless by any stretch, but it's nice to see a game be so open with the community. And, you know, Fortnite, I feel like, deserves some positivity as well, but I don't know what it is, man. But Fall Guys is just doing it well right now. And I got to talk about the Fall Guys' Twitter. The guy that runs the Fall Guys' Twitter is amazing. I can't explain to you how much I love this guy. Whoever this person is, they have one of the nicest and best approaches to any Twitter account I have ever seen. I'm going to go through some of the tweets that I found really nice from the Fall Guys. They retweeted this artist that actually made a Fortnite collab with a llama and a cuddle team leader skin. And they responded with a tweet saying, Operator, give me the number for Tim Sweeney Epic and also Fortnite game. We have some business to talk. They're willing to actually talk to Fortnite about getting a collaboration in the game. You don't really see Fortnite really ever doing that with other companies unless they already own them like Rocket League or like certain emotes. Like when they get like a certain emote in the game that's from TikTok, they'll interact with them. But until they actually get a deal with people, they won't really communicate with other game companies. Like why don't they actually do that? We also got a tweet from them saying we're aware of the speed hackers and are working on it. Thanks for reporting them. Just letting us know that they're working on the game and making sure that they're getting rid of all the hackers and everything. Another tweet here. We actually see Astrology, who is a fantastic Fortnite artist, by the way, makes really good concepts, made it a Anubis concept for the game and they just flat out retweeted it. How nice is them 
to actually be retweeting concepts. And they've been doing this for a good bit too. Here's another one. Found this on Instagram. It is of a Ugandan Knuckles meme. It looks pretty hilarious to me. They also have like a little meme with like the seesaw. Here's another tweet about how Fall Guys is the number one top grossing and top selling game on Steam this week. And it even appears on the top 10 twice because there's actually two versions of the game and they actually got both of them on the top 10. That is kind of nuts. There is a lot of positivity going on with this game right now. And it really makes me wish that Fortnite would actually feel more human. I'm going to be honest with you. The Fortnite Twitter account does not feel like an actual human is behind the account. It feels automated. It feels like we're talking to a robot. The robot that is programmed to just tweet out whenever a new thing is in the shop or whenever there is a reoccurring featured thing in the shop. That's all it's used for. It's not used to communicate with us anymore. They're done communicating with us. I miss when Fortnite actually tried to communicate with its player base because Fall Guys makes it look so easy. What does Fortnite do? They don't say a word. I feel like the game is becoming more corporate. And I know it's super random for me to rant about Fortnite like this, but it really makes me envy the Fall Guys community for being such a positive one. And the fact that we can't even have that with Fortnite. I mean, come on. Why doesn't Fortnite ever try to communicate with us, even through Twitter? Like, they do retweet some tweets, and I'm very happy that they do that. But Fall Guys does it so much more often, and they make it look so much easier. It's super simple for Fortnite to just tweet out some polls. Like, remember when they used to do the polls and stuff like that? Remember when they tried to engage us in the community? I think they stopped doing that because the communities online are just really bad. And it's full of just dead game and how to blame casual players for the game's demise, even though it's not even in a demise right now. It's just a negative place. I don't enjoy being on Twitter anymore due to the simple fact that Twitter has become an impression farm for people to grow their Twitter accounts through negativity and false information, and I don't like it anymore. And Fall Guys has really opened my eyes to like what Fortnite could do. This is this is a request from me to Fortnite. The Fortnite creative already does amazing stuff. I don't know who's behind that Fortnite account, but Fortnite creative is amazing. And I appreciate all the hard work that that person does. They put obvious time and effort into retweeting people's screenshots and art and it makes people feel appreciated. Fortnite feels like a gigantic robot and I want them to have a better social media manager or something because me personally, I think Fortnite could do a lot better if they acted the way that the Fall Guys Twitter did. And Fall Guys isn't even out for a week yet. By the time I'm recording this video, it might be. It hasn't even been a week old and there's more communication coming from this game than Fortnite has in super long. I think Fall Guys is a fantastic game. It has its issues. It's not perfect. It's a fun game to play with some friends or just playing solo. It is a really fun time, but I want Fortnite to take notes. I want Fortnite to realize that they, they can talk about other games and they don't only have to talk about themselves. I want them to have fun with it. Why is everything so serious with Fortnite now? I really don't know. That's it for the video today, guys. I love Fortnite. I always will, but it just really makes me remember that Fortnite almost feels like they abandoned us. It feels like Fortnite doesn't really care about its online player base. At, at least to me, the way they show it online, it, it just tells me they don't really care because there's a few bad apples in the community. I don't know what else to say. I know I went into a rant with this, but... I miss it. I miss when Fortnite was actually open with us. I miss when Fortnite actually talked with us about stuff and just had fun with it and didn't take everything super serious. I'm going to end it here. That's it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you did, let me know at the like, but only if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just so you get all of my latest uploads and comment down below. What are your opinions on what I talked about today? I would honestly love to know. Follow me on Twitter at ITalkFortnite. Follow me on Instagram. I can talk Fortnite. And if you'd like to use me for support a creator, my code is ITalkFortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.